I don't know if you are aware that all these people are here because of you. Do, uh, CD, whatever you are, 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 whatever you Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Ashi Darling. So another day, another bridesmaid story. <laughs> we cannot seem to get away from this or our lovely aunties. Seriously. So the video you just watched, that's a bride that her girls basically abandoned. So even if you are going to compare her with the video we recently posted, I mean, choose for yourself. Which of the bridesmaids would you even want? So if you want my thoughts on that, Please keep on watching. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> That's a bride dancing out, her first outing, and basically her girls were busy snapping selfie. Like, the person you came for, your work as a Shwebi to be around her, you know, as she's greeting and all of No, no, no. Selfie. In the order of importance, selfie. And not even one. Do you know that the, the funny thing about that video was that. If it was three people that were going astray, we wouldn't notice. The whole... Like, <laughs> hey, Jesus. Thank God for the MC. You know, sometimes and God has a way of doing his own thing. So, I really like the MC's vibe. If you like the MC, MC's vibe, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I love the MC's vibe. Like, calm down. Because some MC's are just like, hurry. The chief wants to go. The king is about to run. But the MC's like, no, don't. In fact, she was... It seemed like she was in a hurry... But the girls were not bothered. In fact, it's that's the stark co contrast. Because if the bride is so much in a hurry, that means maybe where she was changing, they were rushing her. And that means her girls would like also be in a hurry. But no. No. I want to say this first thing. If you're a bride and you found yourself in the position where these are your kind of friends, eh? Uh, you know when you're dancing out, it's not compulsory to use a shwebi. Yes. It's not compulsory if they don't to come i'm serious it's not going they should just look pretty and sit down it's fine i would even prefer you pay cultural dancers to dance in front of you and you and your three three friends that have sense two friends that have sense your one sister your four sisters your cousins that are not um, doing competition with you you know like i said this point so in fact this one is a, a point on its own Cousins that are not in one sort of competition with you. Sometimes I, I literally go by myself to nudge the bridesmaids to go and hype the bride. I have done it more than 10 times. Nudge, go now, you get, she's dancing, hail her, hype her. And I get people that say in the comment, no, why is this person shouting? Don't shout in the video, just leave them to be done. What are you saying? Are you drunk? Somebody is, do you know how much pressure people feel on their wedding day? No matter how hyper you are, on your wedding day, like, the activity is so much that it sucks up 50% of your normal hype. You need that hype. Don't say that, no, my, she can do it now. She's even smiling. Some of these smiles, nerves. Hype your girl. Be there. Shout. Like, be there for her. She needs it. She needs that ginger. You find that most brides that have gingered um, Ashwabi girls, even when they cannot dance, the whole atmosphere, everybody enjoys the way. And you personally, sometimes I look at it and you the bride. Check yourself. Close to your wedding, check yourself. Your va your people should be the ones around you. Sometimes you even have help from nowhere. Embrace it. I'm telling you, there are some brides that will say, ah, close to my wedding, there were people that were volunteer. They, they were help. I'm not talking of the ones that, you know, those kind of our spiritual people. No. I'm talking of people that genuinely want to help you, genuinely want to come on board. I think to some extent, because... You will be so surprised then. The ones that you put your hope on top will scatter. See them. And the person that did that video probably was just doing a video to show you the bride, you know, dancing out. And we just took sight of that. So my first suggestion is you must not use bridesmaids. You can pay cultural dancers. I have a bride that came all the way from the States. She didn't have friends that were in her village. And uh, her um, traditional marriage was to happen in Ebony. Yes, Ebony State. So I was like, babe. Get cultural dancers. They are going to be entertaining, yes. But when you're also coming out, they do this slow dance to just sort of, you know, even Aquaibon people, you have those that can be dancers. You have, you cannot tell me that you're stuck on friends that are unfriendly friends. No. 
There are many, there are many things you can do. If you're from the Igbo side, you can get organic people. If you're from, there are different people that can usher you in. There, there's no, it's not set in stone that you must have a Shwebi girls. Yes, people, somebody started it and then a lot of people are doing it. But it's not set in stone. Your own can be different. If you see that probably they have um, abandoned you or a lot of people have like changed their minds and last minute, one, one thing or the other. I feel that you can even work out with your mother and her sisters, you know, like... There, there are options. There are options. I always tell brides, oh my God, my girls are not coming. Oh, I have only two girls. I say, work with the two. It's better for you that you know the person that is beside you. It's better for you that you work with people. Because the truth is, now that the first video I posted, the video I posted yesterday, um, a lot of people were like, okay, she's overdoing. Yeah, we have overdoing people. If she wore a more appropriate dress, that girl is a fantastic Ashwe big girl like she was she was doing everything Ashwe big girls would normally do probably like dancing around the bride and all of that but the difference might be um for me i would say Ashwe big girls should focus more on hailing the bride um there, there are lots of videos where i don't know if i'm going to be able to attach them some other videos that i'll just put like hailing the bride you have watched my weddings now check my wedding planning playlist hailing the bride that's where their eyes were on that's where their focus was on not on them not on selfie the bride the reason you're here because i will tell you i've done weddings i've done a lot of weddings don't think that simply because you're isolating yourself you're snapping self that's what draws the attention of men and suitors it doesn't work like that we continue i'm about to do the video about budgets and a lot of people keep asking me what's the average budget for a nigerian wedding and what's the average budget? so i want to throw this question back at you how much are you looking at <laughs> because average is relative oh. one man's average is five another person's average is 500 it's relative average it depends on where you are standing whatever your budget is tell me the budget and tell me the number of people probably from the comments now i will tell you if that number will work because people know i don't hide mouth so let's continue <laughs> <laughs> this particular video eh, i'm ready to do it but i'll do it about the wedding cost and all of that because you people say you want to hear <laughs> some of you will hear eh, and you will go to court and marry your husband and go home <laughs> if you hear what people are spending for wedding you will go to court you will marry your husband and you will go to the house <laughs> anyways so, so that i don't die after the bride finish coming to greet everybody you you have hours i'm telling you i should be girl hey if it's man you came to find, there's, there's just a small window for you to attend to the bride. When she comes out for her first um, viewing, if you have sighted the the targets, eh, the person you came for, mm -hmm, just escort her. Please be with us. Escort her to finish greeting. The moment she is going to change, you can come out and display. Mm, you can come out and parade around the brother. Another thing is, if she comes out for her wine carrying, and you have also cited the young guy again. <laughs> Escort her. Let her carry the wine. In fact, be hailing her after she carries the wine. No? Because I'm telling you the only time that there should be girls have to attend to the bride. So that it's not like, hey, they came for a man. The bride has married. Why won't you allow them to find their own husband? Because you will, you're not here forever. You're not attending to the bride forever. Like, stop making the Ashwebi work seem like your whole day is spent attending to the bride. It's not true. It is not true. Except you're her closest friend or her tightest friend or something, something. Not all Ashwebi girls are always 247 around the bride. When she's changing in between her chain, the moment you have she has gotten wine and you have handed her over to the husband, how many Ashwebi girls used to come around? They will now sit on their seats. The next time they are coming around, they still dance around her when she's dancing. And that one now, the bobo can still see you. There are many times, there are many corners they used to sit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is going to be a difficult question. Um, if you have not watched the video I posted yesterday, go and watch that video. Compare that video to this video. Which of these Ashwabi girls would you prefer? It's a tricky word. It's a tricky question. I know that Ashwabi A was different. And this one too. They were different. Which of them would you prefer? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I got a comment. I think I'm going to even still reply on that. Someone was saying that um, we encourage body positivity. And yet, um, when a lady dresses like that, we are, uh, um, several comments are talking down on her. 
I do not think that comments were talking down on her per se. Do you understand? We're only saying that in this our body positivity vibes that we are we are doing, let us be focused. You, at one end, women do not want to be objectified. You don't want to walk around and people are like ogling at your body parts. You don't want that. As much as you want to be free, body positive, that's not you. Like, yes, you can have all the fine shape, but you also have something up. They shouldn't objectify you and just classify you to be something. That's one of the fights. And then on the other hand, we want you to be free to express yourself to wear anything you want to wear. That's okay. That's also fine. So if at one point now, this girl wore this dress and some people were like saying, um, but the bride saw her. Hey, if you appear with that kind of cloth for my wedding, will I tell you to go and sew another one? Will I tell you to put handkerchief inside? Like, what do you want the bride to do? Even if she saw her, what do you want her to do? That's why I say it's not the bride's fault. It's not the girl's fault. I mean, you showed up like that. You took the cloth to the tailor. You told the tailor to sew it like that. It's fine. I'm sure the bride probably knows that that's how her friend is. And for you, friend, to see that, ah, it's your friend's wedding that you want to dress like that. Oh, it's, it's fine. Nobody can do it. But for us to say, eh, we should allow her just be like that. And she did not know now. There's balance. Do you understand? There's balance. That is one of the reasons why I do my videos. I tell my brides, please check your friends. Check yourself. You, Some of you are not friendly. Yes, some of you are not friendly. Some of you are rude. They will choose your wedding day to disgrace you. <laughs> I should not, in fact, I have a video. I have video like that. I've not even posted it because my head, I'm having a headache. I did the video a long time ago. Some, some brides are actually rude. There's bridezilla. Oh. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you want me to do a dedicated bridezilla video. Yes, on the flip side. And then I look at it that some weddings that these girls actually come to do like payback. Oh. It's because some characters, it's not like it's normal. How would you choose somebody's wedding to embarrass them like that? There are some some videos that are straight up embarrassing from the girls so i look at it i'm like hmm, what did this bride do today <laughs> she would have been better off with cultural dancers and all those your aunties small small children wear them ankara top and bottom let them just be doing body like this and following it will be beautiful i i i, I promise you it will be beautiful those small small um children that are in the village they are better off give them ankara very nice colors like bright colors let them sew um this top this thing and the bottom one and just be following you it will be fine if you don't have friends there are many there are many options if you don't have trustworthy friends if you feel you cannot rely on your girls you can give them their shabby material but they can even come and sit down yeah they can come and sit down it's fine i don't think that um at some point we should blame the girls yes because everybody knows that wedding is a place that they find husband but if you there should be girl you were the bride will you be happy that's my bottom line that's just it. that's what i want to end this video with thank you so much for watching remember to watch my wedding planning playlist i remember your girl as darling bye